Christy just got her quick start this weekend, right? Woo! Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, it's on Atlanta on the side. It's 40 bucks, y'all, and it includes lunch, and you get an additional discount to attend. Okay, so you get um, any of the neutral where you choose to purchase, you can get an additional 30% off or normal 50. Um, so that is um, one of the important things coming up. And then Haven. So if you've seen anything on the Facebook page or on the email, it is to Brooks 10, 10, 10. So there may be one or two people that fall outside of that. But most of the people, if you've got the email, if you're, um, if Tammy is your mom, right? Is that where it stops? That's where it stops. So Tammy is your mom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so if Tammy is your mom or I am your mom, here we go. Okay. Um, so that's kind of like where. Um, oh, I'm going. And then you. Then you should be able to go. Yeah. It's worth it for the free snack. Yeah. Because it's out of it, huh? Yeah. Oh, the free snack. You're really extra suitcase. I brought all kinds of snacks. Yeah, I'm not. They have a free snack. Yeah, they have a free snack.
guarantee as far as that goes, Premier opens up a in the drop down on your return people the Christmas gift um, option. So people that are buying Christmas gifts now and their 60 days to be over, they're going to have a window of time. So I just tell them, you give it as a gift, let me know within 30 days. And then they can still exchange it without issue. Or, um, like, Hey, uh, guys are last minute shoppers, so come up with something creative. Like, I mean, there's stuff out there on different uh, Facebook sites and stuff like that, but you can totally, like, do some free gift wrap for the guys and y'all have bags of tissue paper, okay? Like, buy below, it's got you hooked up there. Blinky like, bags and some tissue paper, like a lot of them. Like, really cheap. Um, and they're cute. So that's easy to do, and then you can have, like, some top items that are, like, 40 and less for them, like, you get some cute pieces for their um, wax. All right, so just some stuff for December. Um, you can also, you want to stay in touch with your people for January. Um, it's, there's a couple things that you can send out, like there's a letter, um, just like, dear whoever, during the holiday season, I want to express my heartfelt thanks for the wonderful host that you have been to me. Um, you've given me the gift of serving you. It just kind of goes through thanking them. Um, and all the other people that they have blessed, FedEx, UPS, 40 missions around the world. Um, you can impact so many people. So anyways, it's just kind of like a thank you. And then you can add a coupon in there that they can use during the month of December or January. So just an idea of extra things. Um, we're going to, we're going to stuff out. I've got to find them. They're in my stuff. I just had them already, so I'm just going to bring these to show because I think they're great ideas that are here uh, this time of year. I also have this as an option, too. It was something fun. You can send a, you know, a handwritten note. They don't have it all anymore. And so you heard, like, when y'all have gotten them for me, and I wish I sent them out more often, and I'm working on that. So, um, but after challenges and things, like, I went ahead and okay. sent a few out to people. But this was a great thing I found a couple years ago, and I like have fun using it. People don't always take advantage of it, and some I've seen some jewelers do it. They actually do it on their Facebook page monthly. They announce a special monthly. But this is just something you can send as a thank you to your host and that anybody that did a show for you this year, and just say thank you. Um, it's a gift for me to you, a Christmas gift or whatever, and it's a year's worth of coupons. So each month they have a coupon of like 30% off, and I, or buy one ring and get one half price for January. You know, 30% off any heart shaped jewelry in February. Um, anything green or something like that. I don't know. In March. So anyway, there's different things that they can do. Um, and then a lot of y'all may have already heard of this one. If you haven't, um, come across it. It's the ring in the new year, um, which is they get a ring for the date. You can do it a couple different ways. So if you're working with being brand new, money wise, and you don't want to put out a lot of money, here's my thought process. These two weeks right here, the first two weeks of January, people probably aren't going to go there. Okay, it's like unless they have a reason, like an incentive, because a lot of people won't book until after the new jewelry comes out. And so that's going to be this, you know, you're going to be moving into the third week by the time it shows on your calendar. Um, so if you take advantage of the ring in the new year, you can offer them any ring um, for the price. So if they book on the fourth, um, they can get a ring of their choice for four dollars. Now you can put a limit on it, say any ring could be your limit. Pick a couple select rings that you want to do. But the way that works for y'all doing that, so if you got a fifty dollar ring. If they pick a $50 ring, it only costs us $25, and they only pay, they fill them the fifth, and they pay $5, you're paying $20. But $20 to have a show where you're probably going to make $200, bucks, you know, rather than having no show. So I don't do it. That will be the January Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't Yeah, and so now the, and, and that may or may not excite people. Because I told some people what I was trying to get on the calendar, and they were like, yeah, I don't really care about a watch. But um, they were just wanted to do their party in January. Um, but so you, the January promotion she's talking about is, um, is it what I'm talking about, Corey? $700 a year, so they get any watch for $30. So you know how they're doing right now in November with a $500 party, you get 50% benefits? Well, January, the hostess gets any watch for 30 bucks with an average $500 party. And that's how I approach it with people I just sell with an average show. And an average show is $500, I talk about that, so I just let them know. Because it's an average party, so it's not that it's undoable. It's definitely doable. They just need to work it. Um, they get that. So you can choose 
fit like a specific date to do it. You can just say, hey, this is some fun rain the New Year thing I'm doing. Um, and you can pick specific dates and specific reads, whatever works for your budget. So think about things like that. We're all, we are able to do personal shows too, so you can get extra rings or something like that, but I don't suggest doing those because you, you don't know what their size will be. So I always add it to their party. I get all their total, tell them what they owe me, and then I add it in. And then I, um, so I just pay the difference of what I'm doing. Um, yeah. For the birds, when does the new line come out? The new line comes out at Rally, so January 9th. Um, I just booked a show for Lindsay. Well, in there, it's about to sign up tonight. Um, I booked a show for her on the 10th, so I let her know I was looking. So if y'all click here, You'll have a catalog. If you stick here, she'll probably have some jewelry by then. She, she, I know she'll wear something. Um, and so they're like, well, it doesn't matter. So they're just excited. They're going to do it on the 10th because of birthday parties. But um, so I let them know. And so that's kind of how I let I gauge my stuff. Now, if you're on track to win any of the jewelry or order certificates, things like that, just know you'll probably have pieces to show a week later. Um, but other than that, I just let people know we'll have a catalog. And you come to shipping that up? If you want it, it's shipping and we're getting it before rally. Um, yeah, so if you won the line, if you've done the consistency challenge, like Judy and me and Sarah and Tammy, anybody that's got that, um, that group is shipping. They said we're going to have it before rally, which is the second. Yes, you're going to see it before. I know. That's what I did in Texas, too, where we all had the jewelry before they so I'll let y'all know when it's going to arrive, if y'all want to be in my house. Come through with me. But, um, yeah, it'll be fine. So, we'll wait. But I don't know which day it's coming yet. So, um, now, if you have a downline or if you sponsored anyone by that time, you can come to Friday night's party. Um, Friday night at 8, they're doing a leadership event for anyone that has at least one jeweler. Um, other than that, it's just Saturday. Um, a lot of us are still getting a hotel room, whether or not we have something Friday night or not. Um, so that is an option. If y'all want to room with us, just let us know. Um, it may be an extra 30. It might be an extra 30 or 35 bucks max person. Yeah, across the street. Um, Spring, Spring Hill included breakfast, so I figured it was literally four dollar difference. <laughs> I figured we might as well get breakfast. Um, so anybody that wants to come, I've got two rooms for so just let me know. All right, um, there's a yeah. leadership thing is at night. I think it's four to nine, and it includes dinner. It's Friday night. Have you should have at least one person. Yeah, so that's why we got it. But So anybody that wants to come down, though, that even if you're not coming Friday night, it's fun. We have crazy. Yeah. We'll probably order pizza because my diet will be over there. I already be down there because I went down there. <laughs> and I got to have my pizza. Okay, so we do pizza late night. We have fun in our room. Y'all yes. enjoy the crazy food. All right, so planning for January. Um, thinking of Thanksgiving, it's always a good rule of thumb to have your January secure by Thanksgiving. Okay, as brand new jewelers, that may not be possible. I understand that, but just try as you're doing your shows right now through Thanksgiving and at the beginning of December. As soon as you book a party in January, like if they're not like, if they can't do it now, just say, oh, we can go to January. February, you know, the spring jewelry comes out. And get the excitement. People are ready to see their family, or they're done seeing their family, they're ready to be with their friends again. Um, it's a great time. It's cold out. There's nothing else to do. Have some girl time. Um, people have spent all their money on their kids and other people, and then they've got usually Christmas money and they're ready to spend something on themselves or accessorize the clothes you got for Christmas. Different things like that. Um, we already talked about the promotion that they've got going on. Um, a lot of times, we'll, those that have been in a long time offer an extra bonus for them to hold their date. Um, you can send fun mail. Tammy gets snowflakes, the snowflake ornament. Really cute. Mail those. Um, and send don't flake out. You know, I'm excited about your party. Um, it's just something funny. You know, it's cute. Um, Christmas card. Yes. Anybody you got on the Walmart? As soon as you get, as soon as you book a show for January, get their list within a week. Say, I need your list within a week to confirm your date. Um, or as soon as I get your list, I can confirm your date. Um, because the reason that is, you want to confirm the date. Because 
If they think there's a sense of urgency, they'll get it to you. But if they don't get you to your list now, as, whether that is just six emails or whatever, like I'll set up a Facebook event and put save the date. I'll send out a quick email. I'll make them a text, a text a collage and text it to their friends, you know, whatever works um, for them to know, hey, this is coming up, save the date. So the word has gotten out, and then we can work on the rest of however that works for them. Because um, everybody, people communicate differently. But I get something out, whether it be via email. I want at least 10 to 15 emails if possible. Um, and if there are people who don't communicate that way, that's fine. Then I won't make an event, and then I'll post in it as we get closer. Um, but you want to just keep in contact closely. You can send Christmas cards, um, leave them a voicemail saying Happy New Year, um, can't wait to the party, things like that. But if you send them a Christmas card, I like to send even all my past hostesses from out the, you know, throughout the year a Christmas card. It's just a way to keep it personal and they remember your other jewelry that you. So if you send a Christmas card with that book of coupons or that sheet of paper that's like thinking about the year, then you never use the coupon. But so they may be like, oh, that's not really pay that back. And they appreciate you. So it's keeping them in, um, you in the forefront of their mind. Uh, remind them why January is a good time because it's Valentine's season. Um, and we kind of went over the other stuff. That, but Valentine's season is a good one too. And um, it's nice to do um, like couple shows. I do couple shows this time of year, like that time of year. Um, we're at the end of January uh, up until like, well, I'll do the first week is on the But um, that type of stuff is nice to do. Um, with couples because you can have a fun get together with the couples and then I usually make a wish list and they have you know fancy the lines and then it says happy Valentine's Day, spoil your wife, or, you know, spoil, spoil your Valentine and then just at the bottom it says if you, it's got five lines, at the bottom it says if you buy all five, you get 20% off your purchase. If they hire all five of her wish lists, they can have 20% off. Okay. Yeah, so I just have to find it. I made it one year, and I was like, printed it on pink paper, and cut it up, and then it was a couple of years. So, the ladies liked it. <laughs> um, and you can do, like, the Super Bowl, Widow's Club. You can do that on, like, the 7th, which is the day we come back from Haven, but we'll be back early, early, early that morning. So you won't miss the Super Bowl, Judy, for those that watch the Super Bowl. Uh, <laughs> but for those that don't, like, it's funny, because a lot of people will do football Super Bowl parties and the women have nothing to do so offer to bring your jewelry. Guys can watch football and the girls can play in the jewelry. And the guys can definitely be fun. So those are some ideas to prep you. Um, January can be a struggle if you're not here. If you do not keep in contact with your people. I mean I'm telling you keep in contact like often with your people. Have that list. Send it out. Post it. Keep the people excited. Send those don't click out. Because if you don't, your entire calendar that you may have booked will fall off. Usually about half of them hold. And it's because people are in contact. But to me kept in contact. She had like the best mom ever with like 12 shows last year. But she kept in contact. She did the fun mail, you know, things like that. Y'all have a to send that. It's literally like a dollar. But if you get it, and you can go buy like at um, Hobby Lobby, just stack of ornaments that are just like six or seven. Okay, and they got them. But, um, and then you just take one of them out and just mail it. It's fine. Okay. Um, they have another dollar store too. You get a pack of five for a dollar. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, you can, uh, yeah, just take them in there. And they have like half sheets that say something about don't flip out or can't wait for your party. They say something like that. Um, but, um, you know, I know people will be tired. I know things, you know, a lot of times people get worked up in the holiday season and they just want to take a break. Do not forget about your business during this time of year, okay? This is the best selling season that you can take advantage of. You have a black bag with jewelry in it. If you don't, like, you got jewelry to borrow, something, you got jewelry access, show it, it will sell. Okay, use the catalog, use online tool, you know, people to shop. People will shop somewhere. You know, don't miss out on them shopping with you. And then as you transition through that week before, some people stop doing shows the week before Christmas or the week of Christmas through rally. And that's a big no-no. Like, I've done that multiple years. It's not, it's not as easy to restart your business. So keep something going of doing some, you know, stuff for your business. 
and keep it in the feel of it because um, that momentum, you don't want to lose it. And there's so much awesome excitement that you will have when the January like, line comes out, spring line. So I try to go ahead and purposely book all that afterwards. I do try to do a show or two at the beginning of January, but I, my main focus is keeping people excited right now that can get on my calendar before Christmas. I'm like, y'all, January's awesome. Book January. So much fun. We're having jewelry. You can be the first one to do that. Like, all these ladies love the stuff today. They're going to come to your party when you the spring line. So I keep that excitement going. Get them on my calendar for that. And then um, they look forward to it. So all the people there are already like, yeah, yeah. you don't want to wait till January 9th or 10th to call them and get them on your calendar. You'll be crying because you won't have shows until February. And you'll miss out on the awesome, you know, January stuff that kicks in. Definitely, like people get excited about when stuff comes out. And then, if you don't already have them on there, though, you're in trouble. So this is your problem. That would be okay. Um, those are some things to think about. Just no matter how tired you get, do a little something. Um, treat it like a business so it can actually make you money like a business. Um, you will hear people say nobody wants to book shows in January. That is a lie. Okay. Um, so just. Tell them January is awesome. Let's see, I'm trying to think if there's anything. There's a bunch of negative mindsets. Just don't be, just don't be a victim to them. Be positive and think about, you know, all the different stuff that you can do. Ask us if you need ideas. If you're going, anybody going out of town to see family? Anybody this year going out of town? Anybody family coming in? Okay. Like, um, <laughs> Or if you go even locally with family, take your jewelry with you. Do a mystery hostess at dinner. Bring your jewelry with you. Seriously. Um, for Christmas and stuff, like they used to do that before we both did it. We uh, we did that early on in our businesses. But just overbook what you, if you were like required financially for your family's budget to have a certain amount, just double book what you need. Just to make sure. And y'all, they all hold awesome. Go shopping. Enjoy yourself. Give head care. Or whatever, you know, if you needed four and you booked eight and all eight held, awesome. But, um, yeah, you go enjoy yourself. Get a whole bunch of free jewelry. <laughs> but um, a whole bunch of I free jewelry, a whole bunch of jewelry. And y'all can still do. They kept the extension for personal shows. So I do that anytime the $10 special comes out, I do a personal show for definite that money. Um, so I offer that to all my customers, people on Facebook, I do it as specials, let people know they can shop with that, and then I do a mini show, like, it doesn't have to be with every single person, I just do a mini show, and those are all outside orders, so then that way I can offer that special to my customers, because they wouldn't only get to do that if it wasn't connected to a show, so take advantage of that in December also. Candy, you're men's thing, that's the line. This is your men's one? Fine, so she's got a men's one. Um, I'll, I'll leave these up here, and then so it's got to want it, need it, got to have it. Um, I can. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, yeah. So those are. Um, yeah. I mean, those are the main things. Judy, can you think of anything I'm missing? Yeah. Okay. Um, you can do. Somebody said you can do like a um, enter all your January hosts into like a fabulous hostess contest and have them compete against each other to have the, big, the biggest show. Um, like that's like the fun to do. You know, let them know they're in and win an extra hundred dollars of the spring line. Watch your family books, but if it pushes people to beat somebody else, you know, here's the running, when it's people push them to get their shows up there. Because you'll have competitive people like, you know, these kids. I think lots of times later, that they have to have 10, 12, a lot of people. No, yeah. And they don't. You can do the host and if it snows or we get a blizzard, like they act like all this rain is not to what's to come and our freezing winter, then you do an online flash sale, blizzard sale, something fun. Just keep track, especially keep track of um, your top customers that spend a lot and like the jewelry. Keep track of them separately so when you do have something like, you know, you're snowed in, you want to do a fun sale like that, you can send out a message. What was the date you Fourth and seventh. Oh, yeah. We're talking about just January and December being having fun. In fact, uh, we're
hours yet. The uh, Sam in there wants to do a uh, theme party. Yeah. We're talking about doing a fun theme parties. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so I mean, you know, it's not like it's definitely not hard. This is the easiest season to sell this jewelry. So um, definitely just put it out there and don't think you have to do anything crazy. Like literally, it's just share with people to look at the catalog because they're gonna shop somewhere. Let them try. Yeah. Anybody have any questions? Okay. Well, the invite, the invites on the computer, mm -hmm. I have trouble with my hostess. Like, when I send them out, mm -hmm. people don't know who I am, so they don't open up the email. You can change I've it. had that problem. Well, you can change it, but take your name off of the hostess. I type in the hostess's name. I, I put the host as the hostess. Me too. But and it's come. It's my email. Is coming up on there. And then the, the, the subject title. Or the huge subject, subject line I usually says. Or James, you're an invite. Mm -hmm. So it'll say your hostess's name, but you just have to remove your name. Uh, yeah, so I usually uh, uh, like delete it and say that. Um, for email or Facebook? No, for email. the email one. And you're using Premier's planner? I don't have it. Oh, okay, gotcha. So she's doing Evite. So in the Evite line, whatever the actual title is, when we used to do them through Evite before Premier had that option, we would just write in bold letters the person's name, jewelry show, or something like that in the title. Because that way they know who it's coming from. I get that. Like, if you're sending it out, then yeah. Or I used to always create accounts for my people. If they didn't have an Evite account, I made them an Evite account, made their password Premier, Used their email. I went in, asked them. It did the entire invitation. Added their. I told them to send me their emails. I did the same thing like I do with the planner. Dropped them in there, and I sent it. It looked like it came from them. So that's another option to get around that. And if you don't do that, the other thing you can do is on the subject line. Yeah. April's getting the girls together. Yeah. Or yeah, you girls day. I used to always put like the name girls night. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. So you can do that. I don't use jewelry party. I say April's getting the girls together. April's blitz and gab. Whatever. Mm -hmm. So this way, it's a catchy subject line, mm -hmm. and they'll open. Right. Right. Prompt to open that and yeah. jewelry party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I used to. Um, I got really put. I try to avoid that now. <laughs> I put like girls' night out, bling style, or something fun, like you know, yeah. things like that. Cool. Everybody good? Any yeah. questions? I'll turn the. Turn the. Uh, it's like they smell outdoors. No, she just walked outside.